Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Abhiya Shodran and uh, in this lecture we will be discussing about the absolute basics of dial set conductivity. So dial set conductivity or specific conductance is defined as the specific reciprocal electrical resistance of the dial set which is measured in milli siemens uh, per centimeter. So as per the definition it states that when electrical resistance increases, your conductivity will decrease and vice versa. So, in symbol, it is the concentration of the dialysis in terms of dissolved ions. So, that means higher the dissolved ions, the higher will be your conductivity. And besides, conductivity is temperature dependent. So, this means when the temperature increases, the conductivity of the dialysis fluid uh, will also increase and vice versa. So, Dialysis machine usually uses temperature compensated conductivity cells to measure conductivity. In a normal hemodialysis machine, the conductivity measuring range is from 12.8 to 15.7 millisiemen per centimeter. So the usual dialysis electrolyte composition is uh, given in this slide. So if you carefully look at the slide, so it for example sodium usually ranges in dialysate from 135 to 145 millimol per liter potassium 2 to 3 millimol per liter although potassium free is also available yes depend upon patient's condition you may select the potassium concentration and same applies to calcium so usual calcium concentration is 1.25 to 1.75 millimol per liter so calcium free dialysate solution is also available in the market so magnesium so the magnesium concentration usually is from 0.5 to 0.75 millimole per liter. Chloride is from 98 to 124 millimole per liter. And for the adjustment of pH, either acetate or citrate is used. So if acetate is used, uh, the usual concentration is from 3 to 8 millimole per liter. On the other hand, if citrate is used, so the concentration of citrate will be ranging from 2.4 to 3 milliequivalent equivalent per liter. And bicarbonate concentration ranges from 25 to 35 millimole per liter. And last but not least, and it's about glucose. So glucose usually ranging from 1 to 2 gram per liter in the dialysate. So a student might be curious about the number which is displayed in the conductivity monitor, usually uh, ranging from 13.5 millisiemens per centimeter to 14.5 uh, millisiemens per centimeter. So, for example, if the machine displays the calculated conductivity as 14 millisiemens um, per centimeter, so what exactly does it mean? And see uh, how the machine calculated that value. So, remember, your displayed conductivity is mainly dependent on a dial set sodium. So, when you increase the sodium, your conductivity will also increase. And on the other hand, if you decrease the dial set sodium, your conductivity will also decrease. So similarly, you shall be able to estimate uh, approximate uh, dialysate sodium uh, by using a simple formula. So you can multiply your conductivity by 10, then you will get an estimation of final dialysate sodium. For example, so if your conductivity displayed is 13.8 millisiemens per centimeter, then uh, by using this formula, you will be able to estimate that the final dialysate uh, approximate dialysate uh, sodium will be around 138 millimole per liter. So now let's try to answer the question in the previous slide which was how did the machine calculates the value displayed in the conductivity window. So as we all know that dialysate contains a certain electrolytes in a near physiological concentration. So you should remember that each electrolyte has its own contribution in total conductivity. So every electrolyte has certain conductivity and total conductivity is displayed as the sum of all the individual electrolytes conductivity values. So here sodium chloride at 103 millimole per liter has a conductivity of 10.68 millisiemens per centimeter. KCl at 2 millimole per liter has a conductivity of 0 0.26 millisiemens per centimeter. Calcium chloride at 1.75 millimole per liter has a conductivity of 0.35 millisiemens per centimeter. Magnesium chloride at 0.5 millimole per liter has a conductivity of 0.09 millisiemens per centimeter. And sodium bicarbonate at 35 millimole per
per liter has a conductivity of 2.47 millisiemens per centimeter and sodium acetate at 3 millimole per liter has a conductivity of 0.21 millisiemens per centimeter so your displayed total conductivity on the machine monitor will be the sum of all these electrolyte conductivities which will be corrected as 14.1 millisiemens per centimeter so your displayed conductivity will be 14.1 millisiemens per centimeter so now you know how the machine calculates the conductivity thank you so much for watching this please don't forget to sub subscribe for more such informative videos